<laughs> exactly. There's this research paper proposing a new way to actually estimate and manage this jump risk and, importantly, how jumps spread contagion. Okay, so our mission here is to unpack that. We'll dig into the theory they're using, walk through the steps of their strategy, look at what they found, some surprising results there, and, you know, also touch on the limitations. Sounds good. Let's start with the theory. How do they actually model these jumps? They begin with a fairly standard model, a baseline, to predict daily returns. Okay, predicting today's price change based on what happened before. Pretty much. They use what's called a jump diffusion regression, basically trying to find a relationship. Regression, right. So finding patterns. What are they looking at from the past to predict today? Three main things from the previous day, typically. The average return over the last couple of weeks. Like the recent trend. Yeah. Then the volatility or standard deviation over that same period, how choppy it's been. And finally, the trading volume. Log trading volume specifically. So trend, choppiness, and trading activity makes sense. They run this model, and then what? The part it doesn't predict is the key. Exactly. That leftover bit, the unpredictable part, is called the residual. And the idea is that's where the jump, the discontinuous move, is likely hiding. Ah, okay. The model gets the smooth part, the residual catches the sudden lurches. Right. You used a good analogy earlier, like hitting a speed bump. The model predicts the smooth driving. The residual is the jolt from the bump. Gotcha. So how do they actually pinpoint a jump within that residual? Is it just guesswork? No. They use a pretty common and accepted method, a threshold rule, a three sigma rule. Three sigma. Meaning if the size of that unpredictable part, the residual on a specific day is really big, more than three times the typical size or standard deviation of all those residuals. They call it jump. They flag it. Yeah. A one for jump day, a for not. Simple binary indicator. Okay, so if the unexpected move is way bigger than the usual unexpected wobble, it's probably a jump. That's the logic. Yeah. And this lets them measure things, like jump intensity. How often do these jumps happen? Just count the ones and divide by the total days. Right. Frequency. And they can look at the jump characteristics, the average size, the variability, by looking only at the residuals on those flagged jump days. 